Come on in, you guys. Today we're gonna to go through when it's appropriate to use your heat pumps that are located on our patios versus our electric baseboard heaters located in living room and bedroom areas. Come on over and we'll show you how to get this done as easy as possible. So what we have here is our digital wall thermostat and this controls our heat pump that's located on the patios and it also does our uh, air conditioning in the summertime. So what we're gonna to wanna to do first during those minus 15 or cooler events is cue this guy off and make go into mode and select off and that's gonna turn our heat pump off so that we can switch over to our baseboard heating system. Over here in our living room, we have one of our baseboard heaters. In this home layout, what we're gonna to wanna to do is just turn this knob all the way up to max, and that's gonna put an air dam in front of these windows and help reduce any condensation formation that can happen. Um, in our bedrooms of this home, we have the control for this baseboard heater is also going to be just it's going to be located on the wall right here so we're going to want to turn that up to our desired heating um, temperature there so as a good uh, common practice what we're going to do is try to keep that blind from being fully closed and that allows a little bit of airflow in behind that uh, the blind there as well as we're going to make sure that our humidistats that are located in our bathrooms are turned on to between 35 and 40. Now, while sleeping at nighttime, we want to do pr promote as much airflow as possible by keeping our doors open to our bedroom as well as our uh, living room. And then just verifying that our humidistat there is located between 35 and 40 degrees. If you guys have any questions with this, please re reach out to our operations team. We'd be happy to assist with this, but we just felt we'd make a video to make it easier for everybody to utilize the appropriate settings.